Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to set up the function to accept connections from multiple clients. Now, I was just going to make a function that did that, took a bunch of uh, connections from whoever, saved them all to a list. But what I also wanted to do is I wanted to make a way that this function could actually reset all of your connections. So most of the time, you're just going to have to run this once and it's just going to be listening for people to connect. But if you ever have a bunch of old connections or I don't know, just a bunch of people you don't want to connect to and you want to refresh them all, you can run it again and it's going to be kind of a dual purpose function. So I'll just write except uh, from multiple clients and save to list. All right, looking good, mate. Looking good. All right, so define. I'll just call it accept connections. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're basically going to close any existing connections. Now, remember, whenever we run this for the very first time, we don't have any connections, any addresses, no one connected to us. But if we ever run this again, then it's just going to clear out any existing connections. So I'll say for C in all connections and remember we're going to store all of our connections in here eventually what we want to do is take each connection and close it that's it so it's going to loop through all the computers that are connected to our server and just close all the connections now after this i just need two more lines of code and that is since we're going to have a bunch of information in these lists this is going to have everyone's IP address and this is going to have the connection object. I actually want to just pretty much clear out those lists. So delete all connections and I'll show you guys something else cool. So if you ever want to delete an item from a list, then you can either just do something like that. If you ever want to delete a range of items in the list, then you can do something like this. And it's going to delete every item from two to six. And then if you ever just want to clean out your list, like wipe it clean, get rid of everything, then if you don't have anything, then this is pretty much uh, signifying the start to the end. So it pretty much just wipes out your list. Real easy way to clean everything and all connections and all addresses. So now all of our connections are closed and we pretty much have a nice fresh list to start. Now remember, whenever you run this for the first time, we're gonna have that by default, but it doesn't hurt to toss it in. All right, so after we clean everything out and we ensure that we have a fresh clean slate, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start an infinite loop, so while one. Now this loop is gonna run for the entire entirety as long as this server script is running. So pretty much, you know, forever, as long as this program's running. So what we're gonna do is just this. We're just going to accept a bunch of connections and then whenever a client connects, just add it to the list. And then later on, we'll be, you know, choosing one of them. But for right now, that's all it's going to do. So remember, whenever they connect, you get a connection object and address information from S accept. Now, another thing I want to do is I want to set blocking to one. Now, I don't need that right there. All right, so whenever I set blocking to one, this is pretty much saying I don't want any timeout. I'm, they're pretty much the same as each other, so no timeout. And now, all I need to do is add their information to the list. So whenever someone connects, we'll just say all connections. We're gonna add the connection object and also all addresses, append address. All right, so whenever someone connects, we get some information and then we just add each bit to the proper list. And then I'm just gonna print out something so um, we know they connected and everything work, worked fine. So I'll just print a new line and I'll say, connection has been established. And I might as well print out their IP address so we know who just connected. So address zero, And remember, this is their IP. So remember, the address information is actually broken up into the IP address and port. And we really don't need to print out the port. This is just a little indicator to us. So just print out the IP address. Now, if we ever get an error, what we can do is we can just print out a uh, pint WTF, mate. 
All right, printouts. Um, how come I get? All right, error accepting connections, and there we go. So check it out. We already have the function to create a socket, bind it, and accept connections. Now, the important thing we need to remember is this all is going on our very first thread. So this is pretty much a complete program. So what it does is it sets up the sockets. It says, okay, we have the ability to connect with other computers. And then this is just going to run forever in the background. And all it's going to do is it's going to listen for someone to connect and save their information. So we're going to kick that off for thread one, thread one taken care of. So in the upcoming tutorials, I'm going to show you guys what thread two is going to do. Basically, we're going to say, okay, whenever we're ready, look at all the people who connected. We're going to choose one from the list. And then we're going to say, you know what? I'm going to connect to that machine and start sending it commands. So pretty stinking awesome. I'll see you guys next video.